Okay, so this is Wilden. We've got all wild cards. Some bosses may repeat. I have a prediction. I think it's going to be the suit bosses. Let's try it out. Clubs debuffed. Okay. Ah, oh, man. I hate wild cards. Wait. This is a flush. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. What if we... Queens and Kings. Right now. Poop. Alright, ship it. I hate looking at them. I hate that they look gross. <laughs> Is that just me? Lusty? Doesn't help with the boss, but seems like a good time. What about a buffoon pack? Six cents. Wrath. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Okay, but we still got like a, a stinky boss situation. I think I'm gonna go six cents. I would love this. Give me Tarot Tycoon. All right, ship it. Sigil. <laughs> So we could play the straight flush here, or, hear me out, what if we played the flush house? Tudzo, this was you? The all wild challenge? Devious? I think devious is what we want. Source of chips versus the boss. If the cards are debuffed, you want to have chips, right? Let's go next. I could sell the sigil for interest. I'm going to hold on to it. Let's go see if we can get some high cards. Jack. Wait, 9876? Uh-oh, getting awkward. 109876, ship it? Yeah, debuff makes them not count as wild. Potentially stinky. We've got a lot of diamonds left in the deck. What's this? Diamonds. Um, I could try to get a three or an eight. I have five of those. I could try to go for two diamonds. Let's go for two diamonds. I believe this is a flush. Aspiring pup asks how I'm doing. I'm well hydrated. And I hope you are too. Do I want series? Probably. <laughs> this boss says spades are debuffed. Hmm. I think I need some kind of value generating joker. And I think the credit card is going to be the thing. Alright, do I want the wheel? Do I want the moon? Here I have a mix of suits. Are these the cards that I want to use the sigil on? Hmm. Never lucky. Let's go next. 
All right, I think what I want to do, let's... I want to make this flush house happen because that'll make things easier on us. So here, I think... Let's go for face cards. Use the sigil. Spades are fine. Good as anything else, I suppose. Yeah, Drizzle, you better hydrate too. Mm, man, I, I forgot about six cents. I should been thinking about that all right arcana we get strength we could get death death gives us another king if i want it i'm gonna go hmm i don't know this is hard to read Eights into nines, tens into jacks. Always oh, spin the wheel. Bummer. Ank, you're a mod now. Unless you don't want to be, I can I can revert it. I believe you're still able to gamble if you want to gamble. <laughs> All right, let's hang them the low ones. Ank, the challenge we're playing right now, the whole deck is wild cards. Every boss is a suit debuff. <laughs> uh, do I want to take top up tag? I think I'm going to take a chance on another shop. Now just give me two Jimbos. Faceless square. This does not look good, team. So if we want, we could go for spades. Three of spades. That doesn't help. Yeah, I think we need the straight flush. This is spades. So we have the royal plus a hundred. Nice. boss is hearts debuffed uh, we don't have any money anymore we can sell square we can sell if I want to get rid of six cents faceless helps I need 2,000 points I want to buy the spectral pack Wraith? Stuntman. <laughs> mm, does Stuntman help? Unclear. If I play this pair... Uh, I was trying to get the face cards for the faceless. That was too many points. I think dagger saves us. If we have dagger... 
Cool. Alright, give me the face cards. Ship it. Alright, Lusty's done. We got Dagger, we got Stuntman, that's it. Just, uh, we could pick up the world if we want. I'm gonna pick up the Grabber for the extra hand. Uh, world if I still wanna make spades. I could still go for flush houses. I just want the money. I wanna save my money now. Well, uh, all my stuff's debuffed, so play whatever, ship it. There's Lusty again. I mean, we take Northern Lion, we take Lusty here, go next. Discard for faces. Moon. Nope. Uh, hallucination, we... We could pick it up here. Go next. Maybe there's an incentive to, you know, once we know that the dagger is strong enough, then we don't need to feed it every round. We can just feed it some of the time. Square glutinous. Spectral pack, immolate. No immolate, but we can go wraith and dagger. Or blue seal. I'll go blue seal. And then go square. Alright, we can't get the blue seal, we just ship it. Yeah, Smoke Sniper said, I feel like some of the challenges would work better if, you know, they had to increase scoring thresholds, kind of like the gold stakes. Yeah, because some of them, like, you know, Blast Off Challenge, for example, has kind of like a slow start. But then, you know, in the end game, because you have the Constellation from the beginning, because you have the Rocket from the beginning, you actually score a lot more than you would normally in the end game. And so maybe. You know, the way that the higher anti-scaling works, you know, like the green stake and the purple stake scaling is the early game is the same. Anti-1 is the same. Anti-2 is only like 20% bigger in Anti-2. And it's not until Anti-3 that the scoring requirements are actually significantly higher. And so maybe that's some, some of the challenges work better with that increased anti-scaling. Though, you know, I will say, uh, you know, if you look at the Steam achievements, you know, the percentage of people that have actually beaten gold stakes, you know, it's like 2% of players. And so, you know, what might be trivially easy to me or, you know, some of the other top players, it's still kind of tough. <laughs> That's what I want to say. It's still kind of tough. And you got to respect that. Yeah, you, you want the challenges to be fun also for people who don't necessarily want to have a difficult time every time. Yeah. 
Okay, now it's time for seed money. Now it's time for... Let's go devious here. You know, Burnt Joker would be pretty funny, because every hand you play counts as a flush. Do we hang him? Judgment. You know, I haven't gotten my blue seal. Habsies? Habsies is plus 20. Aces and fours. Oh yeah, we tried to do flush houses at some point. We could still do flush houses in a theoretical future. You know, this one we kind of barely have enough. Yeah, it's Northern Lion, see? Okay, pick up Crafty here. Go Arcana. See, see, you gotta work? My condolences. <laughs> we could reroll the boss, take Handy for 25 bucks. What do I want to do with this blue seal? Because I could level up high card. High card helps us on the bosses. I think that's what I want to do. Do I want to level up pairs? Yeah, we could level up pairs. Strength. Strength helps us make pairs, helps us make flush houses. Lusty can eat it. Do we have the... We didn't get the telescope this run. That was a different run. Alright, fool for plutonium or we hang him. Keep the 10 because it can turn into a jack. Yep. Give me the money. Nice. Ship it. $26 Northern Lion, $19 cash out. Oh hey look, profit. Credit card you buy for a dollar, you get double the molt. Okay, Hermit, Temperance, Temperance for 35 or we hang them. I guess I'll take the money. This time, this time I'll take the money. 
This time we hang him. Fool first. Then hang him. Alright, give me a bull, just like the last challenge. <laughs> Uh, we'll just play pairs. Smoke Sniper asks, are we ever going to slice the egg? Uh, why would you? Why would you want to? the draw get the extra hands the extra hands are really nice um, series I guess we don't need to be saving all this money we could do a little bit of re-rolling um, I could get two series or we can hang them 36 cards in the deck Burglar would be pretty good, though we wouldn't be able to get our faceless money. We'll just go one more. Go next. Okay, this eight you ship it and then that way we save our hands for faceless um, this ace is safe we can ship it and then now we discard more face cards uh, I'm gonna discard the queen this is my last discard so we'll discard those mmm I don't have a pair, I just get high card. Plutonium is fine. I could also get a Jupiter card, but I'd rather have high card. Yeah, someone in the chat said already, you know, one of the challenges, one of the dangers of banning a bunch of tarot cards is then you get the other ones like way too often and so like in the fragile challenge you can't get the tarot cards that give you enhancements because you can't remove the glass from the cards but then that means you get hermit way too often you get temperance way more death cards more and you know people were commenting on youtube people were commenting oh the what is it, the load-bearing sixes? Like, that challenge seems impossible. How are you supposed to win with only, you know, the eight sixes made of glass? How are you supposed to get more sixes? Well, you get death about three times as much as you normally would, so it's you can find more sixes. It's pretty easy. Pretty easy to find the sixes, not necessarily easy to do the challenge specifically. Hey, look, it's greedy again. Go next. That's also the thing about the Jokerless challenge. When you remove all the Jokers from the shop, you get tarot cards way four times as often. Play a pair, ship it. Gen K asks, are all tarot cards the same chance of being seen? Yeah, they're all equally likely. It's all uniform.
Boss says hearts are debuffed. Series or plutonium? I think my pairs are high enough level I don't need the plutonium. We can take Droll just to sell it. Oh, I should have bought the Astronomer first. Strength card for... I'm out of 10s, right? I just have one more 10. I can turn my Queens into Kings. That'll enable my Flush House. Let's do that. Find my Queens. Turn them into Kings. There's one queen. Um, I'm gonna, since I have the pair, I'll play the pair. Have another pair. These queens, when I said queens, I meant my queen of spades. I have six cards left in the deck. So I can draw the Queen of Spades if I want. Let's... I have a 9 and an 8 in the deck and a 10. Yeah, what happens if I play this Ace? Then I can do these two Queens. Okay, but if I want to get a pair, I have to discard this King. We get the 10. That's the only one that doesn't work. I should have discarded more cards. That's rude as heck. I could get a Saturn card. Oh wait, I, I don't have the blue seal anyway. Clearance, sure. Alright, Tudzo says, let's see here. Tudzo created the challenge. The solution you had in mind was forcing flush hands through the debuff or doing high card or pair. Yeah, that's certainly an option. I think playing flush houses with the through the stuntman minus two hand size is more fun for me. <laughs> Pick up madness here. All right, acrobat is times three. So if you want to be safe, we could do this. Go one more. Do I want to give up my money? I'm not ready to give up the money. We'll give up the stuntman. Yeah, that works. All right. What's under the hood? Kings and Jacks. Wait, actually it doesn't matter. Sorry. I was looking at the spades, but that doesn't matter. What matters is we have Jacks and Kings in abundance. I could have held on to the Queen for money. There we did it. We got the Jacks and Kings here, which means we have more Kings and more Jacks. I can discard these. We have one more jack and one more king. I can discard these, but my last king is my blue seal, so I'm not gonna get a planet card. Would I rather have the planet card or the money? In that case, let's not discard yet. We wanna draw the one queen. Twelve cards left in the deck. I 
don't think the faceless is gonna pay out. So we'll just do this. Oh, we got the queen. Ah, I gave up too soon. Oh well. Three cards left in the deck, so three, two, one, ship it. Ship it. It's kind of disappointing this is just like a normal final boss and not like a suit debuff boss. We got two more rounds left. Okay, Fool gives me series is fine. Strength. Priestess. Do I want to use strength on my nines? I could use strength on an eight. I don't care about strength. Let's go priestess and we'll hang the twos. Riff Raff. Bishop Corrigan asks, is changing the final boss to a regular boss is that easy to do? It's probably incredibly difficult. If I had to guess. We could go one more. Yeah. All right, I want the Cardomancer to do the thing. Let's get rid of Faceless. Hang him. Sun. Nope. What we will do... Turn this ace into a king. We can play the natural flush house. <laughs> um, do I need to wait until the final hand for the acrobat? Maybe. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention, so I'll just do it. If I play... If I do it this way... If I play three jacks here, then I have, either way, I'd have not enough extras. Warrior Dan asked, did I see Dan's a thousand joker run this morning? I saw parts of it. Yeah, you know, if you give yourself a thousand joker slots or if you, you know, give yourself a million dollars starting, you could do some wacky stuff, I guess. To what end? Aura on my Jack. Do I want the... Let's take a free roll here. Cardomancer is likely to be ousted. Oh, he came back? Ah, uh, bummer. $50 temperance, nice. Never too late to hang him. I go next.
Go for the natural kings and jacks. We got the natural kings and jacks. That's it. Ship it. <laughs> Let's make another blue seal. <laughs> I mean, you can only get two planet cards. Oh, well, ship it. Tuto, you ended up with the same kind of technology when you did this one. Stuntman, Egg, and Dagger? <laughs> yeah, Stuntman's great. Until, of course, you level up your poker hands and then Stuntman becomes irrelevant. Nasty, you, you added the lines. There's like five or six of them. Custom lines at the end, that's great. <laughs> Calculated. Alright, let's pay the believers. Ooh, 50 50 split this time. Alright, this is for all the folks who, you know, haters of wild cards, haters of the, uh, you know, suit debuff bosses. Give this one a try. All wild challenge. Tuzo asks, did I like the challenge? Did I enjoy it? I think it was pretty alright. I think I didn't encounter too many situations where I had ability to remove the wilds, wild cards. Like I removed cards from the deck with the hangman, but I didn't, you know, get like Empress or Hierophant. And maybe that's just a consequence of, you know, what we ended up drawing Joker-wise. You know, we didn't get any tarot generating jokers. And then in the booster packs, I kind of like prioritize different stuff. Oh, that's planned. You're unable to remove wilds. Well, okay. So then the, the thing is, in normal rounds, your cards are not debuffed. And you get to live the thrill of like having cards that care about different suits. And then against bosses, you have to play with fully debuffed cards. So it could just be you play a challenge where your cards are debuffed all of the time. So, you know, similar flavor to the double or nothing challenge. The challenge that has all the red seals where when you play cards, they become debuffed. But then until they become debuffed, they have, you know, double action because the red seals. I would say not being able to interact with any of the wild cards makes this one less interesting than it could be. I think the strategy added around like what kind of cards, how do you want to prioritize your ability to remove wild cards? Like if you had the ability to remove wild cards if you got an empress, like what would you prioritize? So like you know, what you could do is instead of having it, you know, a deck of different suits, you can make them all the same suit. You can make it like the checkered deck where it's half hearts, half spades, and then the bosses alternate, maybe something like that. Bishop Corrigan asks, what if it was only glass? Oh, like only justice cards? This challenge was okay. Definitely a demonstration of, you know, how to be successful with debuffed cards. If you're not able to remove the debuffs, okay, well, you know, accept the fact that your cards are going to be debuffed. How do you play around that? And one way to do that is you get the higher level poker hands, or you have, you know, some source of scaling, you know, like uh, the dagger. Certainly very viable, the dagger.
large source of plus mold. Even without, even before we use the egg, right? You only use the egg in the final round. And so all of the rounds leading up to the final round, even without sacrificing the egg, the dagger was still doing enough, still doing plenty.